Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make the handbag from that um, all that little tiny piece of fabric or um, you can cut out the fabric to what you have there, whatever you want to do. Before we do this, I have the, um, I have cut the paper here, 3 inch by 3 inches, so 3 inch square. And then another one I cut here, this is 2 inches square piece so you can put on uh, the fabric like that and then you can trace around and cut it out you need 25 of these uh, little piece so i cut it out here 25 and now i'm going to show you how to do this you use also you can go to the fabric store i got this in walmart this is interfacing one side clue with the clue you can um, iron on and the other side it smooth you're going to cut 25 of the interfacing two inches the small one you go going to place on the fabric the rough side the side with the clue and the smooth side that facing up this one right here the fabric i have the right side facing down and the wrong side facing up and the rough side the one with the clue you can just place on top the inside out of the fabric i want to iron this now you can see the two inches of the interfacing is stay in the three inches like this you go on to fold this in just like this and then you start sewing on around it You can use running stitch when you do this. You run in stitch everyone. And now on this side, this end here, you're going to fold it in. Fold this side in. And then the last one you fold it in. If just ha if it happened that you fold it in and then your dress is under the fold, that's okay. Go up on that fabric and then sew it down. Now you already wrap it four corner in this interfacing. You go on to continue to do that on twenty five of them. And then come back, I show you the next step. We done this in the past, everyone. If, this is just almost like a face map, the basic thing to do and everyone know how to do it. So when you get to here, you go on to just make a loop. And then you get out. So continue to do all of 25. So everyone, after I sew all, all these um, square together like this, so you go on to lay out two sets like this, and you go on to sew it in. So what do you need to do? You go on to sew whatever next to each other like this. Let me just zoom it in. For assemble like this. If I have that like that, you go on to make sure you turn in this way and then you go to sew this in together and then this one together and this one together and then so far 
you're going to sew it in all together just like that so i'm going to pick one at a time and um to make sure you don't forget how it to lay out you make two you leave it there you're going to sew this one and if you forget how where thing go and then you look over here and then you know exactly where um how thing go so i'm going to show you how you can put this together most of you already know how to sew um if you make like a quill blanket or something so i'm going to use this too put in together the right side to the right side and then you can just go on the side and you're going to sew it together The best way to do is just, just to make two, one like that, and then start with one. so when you want to make the next one it's easy if you forget you can just put it back in here like that so you know the next one going to be so fold this one into this one you're going to make another one just continue to do that so go ahead and just sew sew this in just like this fold it over and sew and then fold this over and fold and sew and then this side too fold it over so this one fold over and sew so everyone after i make two like this so i'm going so i have two like this i'm going to just put one away just like that and i'm going to use just one like this everyone now when you face it like this you can see the two right here and then the page the space right here you're going to take two place it here that's one and the other one you're going to place it right here so that two you're going to sew this in everyone so flipping this side sew this one in and when you when you're done you're going to sew this one in just like that so now this is the two two new one that i have it right here so let's just sew this one and again this is i make it for my knees if you want to make it bigger you can go in a bigger square and follow exact the same direction so go on to sew this around just like this everyone sew it in i will show you step by step like this it take a while but then you win you never miss anything so go ahead and sew this line in this one right here so now when I get this one in and this one right here need to sew it in too. So I'm going to go to like this. I still have a dressing needle here and now I'm going to continue to sew it in. So I'm going to lift this up and see my dress that I just sewed the other one, this one in and then it come to here. I leave it there so I can continue to sew the next one. But I don't need to take out the needle. So go ahead and do the same thing. Sew this piece in step by step for you so you never miss anything. You don't miss anything everyone. If you miss the step, you go back and watch it. So when you sew this piece in, the other one next to it is like this. You're going to sew it in too. So turn it over like this and sew it in. Like this. And now you're going to sew this one in. The only thing that I want to tell you that easier when you pay attention to the top one. One, two, three. It is like that. So leave it like that. And then the rest here, we're going to follow through this. So the after we add the two in here, 
we're going to be adding another one so i'm going to add one more right here you can see the space right here that you have is something like this i'm going to do step by step with you okay so now you're going to sew this in to sew it in you don't want to sew this side because you're going to stop right here you want to sew it in so then here you can sew it here so you don't need to take the dress out so lip it like this uh, let me just zoom the, the camera in so for this one right here you want to sew from the outer line in here and then from here you're going to sew this in so like this you're going to lift this up like this you're going to sew it in after you sew in this in you're going to lift in this side you're going to sew this side in you see that's why that's why I want you to sew from the outer line here in and then from here to here. You see, I'm done. I come all the way to here. This one right here, right? I come all the way to here. Now I'm going to go like this so I can sew the other side in. You see how easy that is? So now you have something like this. Remember, you have to pay attention to the top and leave it like that so you can follow the whole thing. So now when you have something like this, the next one you're going to do you're going to place this one right here on the side where this one that we just placed you're going to play on the side of that and then another one you're going to play like this you see the two that we're going to place it in here we're going to sew this in this one right here you're going to sew it in here and this one right here, you're going to sew it in here. Just like that. I'm going to get the clip. So I'm going to clip it down so I know that that I'm going to sew that in there. So much easy to do this. Step by step, everyone. So sew this line in and sew this line in. Okay, now so when you look in here, you can see like this. We just ask here, everything will look the same. You're going to place one right here and it one right here. One right here, just like this. And then another one right here. Just like that. And remember, you're going to sew from the outside and sew it in. From the outside, because we have two corners right here. We have this one you're going to sew it in. And then you have to sew this one in too. So you're going to sew from the outside. When you're done, you're going to flip over here and then you sew on this one. Same thing to the other one. This one right here, you're going to sew it in. And then from here, you're going to flip it over and then you sew this in. So that's where you don't need to take your dress out. Yeah. So go ahead and sew this one. And then when you're done, flip into this side, sew in this side. So now everyone, after you add the two, so you can see the bottom here, the top one, that's the guy for you. So I suggest you, when you do that, the top one here, you just make it easy for yourself to recognize this is always the top. So the rest of them, when you add the piece in here, make it easier. So now you can see this right here, it's like this, like an M. This two space right here, we're going to add two in there and we are done. Not done, but we're going to do something else. We're done for this. So we're going to add this in here. That's one right there. And this one right here. Now, when you see something like this, you're going to sew from here, from the outside here where the red and the purple sewed it in. From here, you sewed it in. And then from here, you sewed it in. And here, you sewed it in. So you're going to start from here. Just do this. You're gonna clip it down. You sew on this one when you're done turning this one, you sew it in. This one right here. You're going to clip it. So I do two at the time like that, so you easy to do. Now you go ahead and sew. Sew it from the outside, sew it in. So now everyone you can at the end when you have the other piece and one like this you can see the two in here and then the spade right here you're going to bring this slowly over this one right here that you from the beginning you make two of this 
you're going to make this go to here to this square right here that empty right here you can see that right there you're going to point ring this pointy in the middle bring into here you're going to sew it in everyone you see this one right here now we put it in all you need to do is just sew this here sew this here here and here you're going to sew them all in zigzag so I'm going to place the interface in here and I'm going to trace. I'm going to place this on here like this, everybody. Make sure you get it the full size. Everything in here. Make sure you get all the corner out, everything. So now go ahead and trace the line. So after you cut the, this is the interfacing, you're going to get another fabric. You're going to place on it and you're going to cut another piece out. Place it in here like this. Remember the one with the clue side, that rough, like sandy uh, paper. Then you face it into the fabric, the wrong side of the uh, fabric. And now you're going to iron this. So this way, the fabric and the interfacing is stay together. It's easier for you to cut out. Just to cut this out, everyone. Just go ahead and from the outer line here, just go out. Let's see, go to that. And then you're gonna go all around the line so go ahead everyone just cut an extra all around this is the guy for you to go out all over now you see after you trace it out i have an extra half an inch around the interfacing at the corner, every corner right here, you can just get the scissor and then you can just snip it down like this. So that way when you come into the corner, it be, it'll be a cover for you. So go ahead and just do all around here. And then after that, you're going to sew it in just like this, everyone. And then you're going to come in this way. Do that, you can iron it all around and then you're going to sew using running stitch if you like or any kind of stick is up to you. So fold it in like this, go all around, cut all the, the, the corner right here, cut it in like that so then you can bend, you can fold up the fabric in. Very um, easy face, I mean face mask. Very easy bath to do everyone. You just, after you've done this, you can bring into the sofa, you can listen to the TV and do this at the same time. I go and show you. So you can just go ahead and just do what I just show you. Do the whole thing. Just like this. Exactly what I'm doing, everyone. Then do the whole thing all around it. After I finish with the bat, with the bat I'm going to take it, uh, to stitch it out. So I want it plain. I don't want any um, anything to go around the border here. The big one right here that we did earlier with the interfacing and then the fabric here. You're going to do this. You're going to place the wrong side with the wrong side here because we want to have the two to right side facing out. So now go ahead, sew this in this way so you can see. So you're going to sew this around everyone. Sew it in, sew it in, sew all, all around here. 
say and then sold it in so let's just start it everyone you can you can pick any corner uh a corner and then they start sewing this together yes. make a loop here and now go ahead and sew the whole thing so everyone look this is who i just put this together and this is the other side so you're going to turn the right side this is the fun side you're going to turn it in and you're going to make sure these two right here that meet together so you can get the clip and you can clip it down right here so when you see the bat it has something like this on the side here and have an extra square what you need to do you're going to sew this in fold it and then sew this corner in and sew this corner in same thing to this one you're going to fold it up to here you're going to sew this and you're going to sew this on the bottom here when we're done with this we're going to sew move this up here and then sew this bottom up right here right here i'm gonna show you one at the top what you need to do just move this like this and now you're going to sew this in so i'm going to sew this in right here everyone so move that to the a triangle like this make sure it meet the line here and then this line right here so it's like that so go ahead and sew So go ahead and sew and then from here when you get into the triangle right here and then from here from the triangle go to here okay so everyone after i sew this flap over here you see the flap here into the triangle and now on the bottom here you can see this right here you're going to bring it up you're going to sew it in sew it in and in the other side do the same thing sew this in everyone so so this line and so this line super beautiful super beautiful i love it so to sew this you're going to hold it like this make it like the triangle the pointy meet the end here and then when you and then you sew on this one and then when you're done you go on to this side same thing to the other side right here do exact the same and sew it in so everyone after you sew this lie right here the flap and then the triangle down here you can inside out the bed so beautiful everyone love it it's like this and now you see that all the stitches around here you can just go ahead and just unstitch do the whole bed because i don't want i don't want to overwhelm it it's, when you make it for a kid you just want to make something nice and simple look at the bed everyone so beautiful so now what you need to do in the middle right here i have the handle i have the handle right here that i uh, purchased online i will share the link in my description so you this is for the small bed so everyone the handle for the this side the two pointy up here the middle one that's for the handle you're going to place it right in the middle like this flap it down bring this flap to the corner right here just like that and now you're going to sew the triangle right next to the handle right here you're going to sew to the point and it go to here and that's it and that you're done with the with the bat everyone so that's it everyone who we'll finished the bat how beautiful and how cute this is i got this i do a lot of thing on them so pick any color you want i'm going to use three for right here so trying to make sure it stay right in the middle like this get the dress and needle we go under here and it go up to the flower
So you're going to do this until the flower so into this flap right here. And then you're going to make the loop. You see now it's staying down nicely. So we're going to make a loop and you get out to continue to do the other color, the, the whatever color you pick or whatever you want to do. You can leave it plain and you can add the button right there. It will be cute too. Look at this everyone. We're finished with the bed. It is so beautiful. Look at that. How pretty. And look on the bottom here. It's big. You see how big that is on the bottom. And look at the handle. So pretty. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you make this bed for yourself, your family. If you want to make bigger, like I say. Make into five, six, and seven or eight inches square. Thank you so much. Whatever square you make, you make the uh, the interface. You cut the interface and half an inch uh, smaller.